seen or heard. When we kill turkeys, it looks like a bomb has exploded. <laughs> ah, yes! Well, we just had an absolute out of this world hunt. I mean, it doesn't get any better. Five or six gobblers right on top of us within 20 steps, beating up on decoys. I'm still shaking from that hunt. Anyway, I've still got tags. I ain't even packed a shotgun yet this year, so. Way those birds responded, we might as well stay after them. We're on my, one of my favorite farms to hunt for turkeys. We just checked the spot, didn't see a bird, but we did hear a bird gobbling deeper in on the place. We're gonna check a couple other little areas, pasture fields, see if there's any other better options. If we don't see anything else, we're gonna go after this bird right over here. Y'all stay tuned right here on Fox Crow Hunting TV. Well, what we got going on is, is we've got a pipeline right away here that bottlenecks down and it stays pretty shady. And I got a feeling with the sun open as hot as it is, pretty good chance there's gonna be a gobbler in it. So we'll get up there and see if we can't spot him. If we don't see nothing, we'll call a little bit, see if we can strike him. I think he's gonna be there. Well, the reason I know this is because I've seen him every day there for like over three weeks. Yeah, I shouldn't say every day. I either seen him or heard him every day. So I at least put a lot of time in on him.
<laughs> ah, yes! Good job, buddy. <laughs> yes. What a day, man. <laughs> All right. Oh. That's how it's done right there. You cannot beat them. Boy, uh, where'd all these tail feathers go? Looks like somebody's <laughs> gonna have to do some work in here. Coyote hunting or something. <laughs> Flop on down here to us, big boy. Flop on down in here to us. <laughs> <laughs> yes! One thing you'll learn about me when we kill turkeys, it looks like a bomb has exploded. There's calls laid out all over the place <laughs> over there. Cameras, shotguns, butt pads, <laughs> face mask, hat. We'll go ahead pick it up. Did you hear him up there spitting? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And he is absolutely pulverized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see that beard. Ain't much of a beard, but it's alright. Probably about eight inches or so, nine inches. But he's got some weight to him. And he might be missing some tail feathers. But he's still a pretty joker. He missing uh Completely missing one, and he's got two cut off of him. Probably that old boy tried to hunt him up here in the corner, probably missed him. <laughs> two big old Kentucky gobblers in less than an hour. I think so. Not, not only that, but it was uh, the first two that we got on. Yeah, what well, you killed? Uh, 1137. Yes. Yep. It's 107, my bad. That's all right. Still, though. still. No, he's got these others. He's actually, man, something's happened. Look at this. He's got two that's cut like halfway off. I mean, like straight cut off, like just, and then right here, the same thing, these two. So he's missing four. It almost looks like an arrow or something cut them. Because mm -hmm. I mean, it's all at the same level, all clean cuts and it's, man. Looks like you just put scissors. I didn't hunt this morning. We had a had a shower of rain come through early and showing chances of some scattered stuff throughout the day. So I decided to just, just spend a day scouting. Uh, here it is lunchtime. Come out here trying to glass up a gobbler to get ready for tomorrow morning's hunt. Don't see anything, but I sure do hear one. Back here somewhere, there is a bird that has gobbled several times. I can't see him. Uh, he's he's either off the back side or off one of the left sides down the woods somewhere. Um, he sounds like he's pretty lonely. I think I could call him up. Um, we head back to the house, get my gear, come back out here and see what I can make happen. Y'all stay tuned. I got walked back in here on my place. I'm on this ridge where I heard the gobbler. He was down in that holler somewhere. Let's see if I can't strike him. Just heard a gobble. I don't know what direction it was in. I think it's on further back this way. I'm gonna grab my gear and we'll walk further further down. Try him again. Just heard him as I'm walking back here towards the back. That's where he's at. Sounds like he's off this uh, back hillside at the end of this ridge. I'm gonna go over to the right corner of this field see if I can't call him up here y'all stay down
Stay down in that hollow. <laughs> yes, there ain't no bigger rush in a self filmed Big old gobbler son. Mid afternoon gobbler down, baby. Yes, 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 yes. yes. See what we got here. Man, he looked like an absolute hammer strutting over the rice. Well, he's got hooks on him. Check out that spur right there. Good grief. Oh, oh he's a heavy joker. I know that. Look at the beard. Man, oh man. We might have a contender for that shotgun right here. Hey. An absolute stud of a turkey. Man. Come right back here in this back corner. And it paid off. He was gobbling right off in the holler right there. Here he comes strutting right in. Yes. Man, that is one pretty gobbler right here. And a uh, textbook afternoon hunt. I actually came out to this spot just to scout. Uh, trying to get lay, you know, lay eyes on a bird for tomorrow morning's hunt. Heard this bird back here gobbling. Sounded like he's lonely, so... Hey, I run back to the house, got all my hunting gear on, come right back out here, and sure enough, got on him. Once I got him to goblin again, he worked like a charm. Came strutting right into uh, the brand new Fox Pro hypnotic hen di diaphragm. Right there's gonna be a good one right there. It's gonna cost the lives of a lot of long beards. Thanks for joining us right here on Fox Pro Hunting TV.